Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is JC Padme. I'm the president of Murchison Minerals. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce our two great projects, uh, one being a VMS a zinc copper project in Saskatchewan and a uh, very, very prospective uh, nickel copper cobalt uh, project in Quebec. Um, so this presentation, uh, while short, will be uh, uh, the, the intention is to cover as much uh, information as possible. Uh, as a summary, uh, the, the main project of the company is the Brevet McKenzie BMS deposit. It has a resource uh, uh, combined of uh, inferred and indicated of uh, close to 9.7 million tons of uh, very decent grades uh, of uh, zinc, copper, uh, gold, silver, and a bit of lead. Uh, we have a very large land position in Saskatchewan of 630 uh, square kilometers with uh, nearly 120 uh, EM uh, airborne conductors uh, and uh, quite a few of them uh, do have uh, very high potential for uh, supporting uh, uh, discoveries of economic uh, mineralization. So it's a, it's a very uh, prospective uh, land package. Uh, very good infrastructure uh, and uh, in a province that uh, very much supports uh, mining. The other project being in Quebec, uh, another very uh, Mining oriented uh, province. Uh, it's called the HPM uh, project, nickel, copper, cobalt, 58 uh, square kilometer uh, land package. It was historically drilled uh, with the best assay being 43 meters of 1.74% uh, uh, nickel, 0.9% copper, and 900 uh, ppm uh, cobalt. Uh, we have uh, recently uh, issued a press release on the uh, recent results of uh, prospecting with. Uh, I, where we identified about 10 uh, different uh, Gossam structures that uh, certainly warrant uh, more uh, exploration. At uh, the current uh, stock price of seven and a half cents and the 79 million shares of, our market capitalization is uh, a bit less than six million Canadian. Uh, and uh, so I'd like to turn the page here and uh, introduce you to the uh, uh, first project being the uh, Bradley McKenzie deposit. So this slide here introduces the, the, the project. As you can see, a photo of uh, a typical core at the Bradley McKenzie deposit. It's very coarse grain, uh, quite high grade. In this particular example, the photo, 24.6% uh, zinc, 0.8% uh, copper, and 83 grams of um, silver. And uh, uh, so it's a type of project that's uh, amenable to uh, easy milling and uh, uh, good uh, metal uh, recoveries. The actual deposit is located uh, less than three kilometers from the Rabbit Lake community uh, where we own two houses, uh, very good infrastructure, provincial highway, uh, main power grid and so on. As I indicated earlier, uh, total resource is uh, 7.6 million tons of inferred and 2.1 million tons of indicated. I combined 9.7 million tons. The ore body is open laterally and it's open at depth as well. Uh, so a good potential to increase the, uh, the overall resource. Very good infrastructure um, and um, we uh, have, uh, as indicated uh, earlier, some 120 different EM conductors in the big line package. Looking at the structure of the uh, ore body, uh, the uh, Rabbit McKenzie deposit is made up of uh, essentially two parallel uh, mineralized zones, one called the upper mineralized zone, uh, lower middle ice zone. Uh, They're separated by 25 to 30 meters of uh, waste material. Uh, the average thickness of these uh, two uh, uh, massive sulfide uh, zones are uh, varies from 5.3 meters to 6.7 meters. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the, as I uh, as the geology shows that the mineralization is uh, is totally open, particularly to the southwest but it's also open uh, uh, laterally. So we are very confident that with more drilling, we will be uh, adding to the tonnage of this uh, resource. So this slide denotes the distribution of the grades. Uh, we need to do more, more drilling to, uh, uh, some infill drilling to increase the, or transfer uh, the uh, inferred uh, category to the measured and indicated. And uh, we're confident that uh, this uh, additional drilling will in, uh, result in an increase in grades and uh, also tonnage. As you can see, we, we do have some uh, very high grades uh, concentrated towards the center of the uh, mineralized envelope, uh, so which bodes well to uh, be able to, to increase the total uh, tonnage and grades.
some of the airborne uh, survey that we have completed uh, earlier uh, this year. Uh, and to the particular is the, uh, the, the mass uh, claim group to the southwest of the line package. And as you can denote uh, quite a few EM conductors that have a very similar signature to the Braddock McKenzie deposit uh, at the north end uh, or top end of the, of the slide. As you can see, there's uh, uh, numerous uh, EM conductors and um, they, quite a few of them are worthy of drilling and uh, hopefully uh, leading to the discovery of uh, additional uh, new deposits, new discoveries. On this slide, I'd like to introduce you to the HPM project in Quebec. It's a nickel copper uh, cobalt project, um, basically massive sulfides that, that shares a lot of characteristics uh, geologically to what we have, uh, uh, or what is being mined in, in Sudbury or at Boise's Bay. And uh, the HPM project uh, benefits from a very good location in the mining oriented province, uh, Quebec. Uh, very good uh, road network, uh, railroads, power. Um, it's, uh, it's an exciting project. So the HPM project, and as a summary, as an overview, is, uh, has the potential to, uh, to yield some open pitable uh, mineral resources uh, and uh, as well as underground. Uh, the area was originally identified uh, for being prospective for nickel, copper, uh, and uh, ultramafic rocks by a government geologist uh, in Quebec. Um, it was first drilled by Extrata Nickel in actually Falkenbridge in uh, 1989. Uh, the, our company, Murchison, acquired this uh, initial land position in the area in 2007. Uh, earned in a 50% interest initially and uh, acquired the remaining interest uh, uh, last year. We increased uh, the land position by staking additional claims and now the total package is 58 square kilometers. Now the, uh, the area uh, benefits from very good infrastructure as well. Uh, this slide here shows some of the uh, uh, massive sulfites. In this particular box, uh, there's 17 and a half uh, meters assaying 1.74% nickel, 1.9% copper. As, as you can see, this uh, rock type or this uh, uh, shares characteristics with um, material that's being mined in Sudbury or Boise's Bay. It's uh, uh, very, very uh, prospective, and uh, we're we're quite excited about uh, the potential to add to the tonnage and uh, make and making new discoveries. The sampling that was done in September of this year. Uh, identified uh, very consistent mineralization uh, literally across the property. So it's uh, a very, very uh, exciting land package that is definitely worthy of additional uh, exploration. We have also completed uh, very recently a detailed uh, uh, magnetic uh, air airborne survey and the results will be uh, uh, released uh, as soon as the interpretation has been completed. Center of the map uh, highlights the Bar de Fer, uh, area where uh, drilling has indicated uh, massive sulfides and disseminated sulfides over a straight length of uh, 300 meters and down to a depth of uh, 280 meters. So mm -hmm. this this proves that there's a uh, they have a good roots to this mineralization and certainly a very very pervasive uh, mineralization of uh, nickel, copper, cobalt uh, across the property. Here you know it's some of the uh, drilling at the Bar de Fer, uh, located uh, relative to uh, airborne EM conductors. As you can see, there are quite a few conductors that have uh, not been explored, not being drilled, uh, and so there's a there's a very high potential to to make additional discoveries with uh, with more drilling. So the uh, uh, we have, as they say, we have lots of blue sky to uh, to follow up on. To summarize, we have uh, completed a lot of the uh, airborne work uh, earlier this year. We've done some ground prospecting both in Saskatchewan and in Quebec on the HPM project. Uh, very, very good, uh, promising uh, surface uh, sampling with uh, very good uh, grades identified. Uh, the next stage is to embark on a drilling program to follow up on all, on all of these uh, uh, new uh, new targets that have been confirmed by fieldwork. So you can find more information on our website, uh, richardsonminerals.com. So feel free to call me on my cell um, uh, or by email.